Hey guys, thanks for clicking this video. I do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, remember to click the subscribe button, click that bell icon, and if you really want to support me, then consider being a Luxe channel supporter for $4.99 a month. You'll get loyalty badges next to your name, you'll get custom emojis, you'll get rough cuts and bloopers, you'll get discounted merchandise, connect with you on social media, and also you get your name mentioned at the start of each video, like this. Okay, I'm turning them off because I, I, I can smell, I can smell burning. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Now, the first thing I wanna do this morning, as you can see, even with my interior lights on, it's pretty dark in here. So I've been and bought these, which are like new LED bulbs. They might be too big, so they might not fit, but I am gonna try and fit them now, uh, this morning, while my truck's warming up, because it's too dark in here and I want it to be a bit brighter. So, bear with, let's see if this works and if they can go any brighter. Uh, there we go, look, just so you can actually see them. Can you see them? That's what we're putting on. Right. I need to, I need, I need to turn the interior lights off so I can actually uh, take them out because obviously they'll be hot. <laughs> right, let's go, let's go give this a go. See you in a bit. Right, so I've just been using my torch to, uh, to actually put the LED lights in. I've not uh, turned them on yet uh, to see how they work with all four together. So, lights off. Let's have a look. Is this now better? I'd say that's a little bit better, don't you? Yeah. It's definitely it's not as bright as I'd like it to be, if I'm honest, but it's definitely brighter than it was. So, an improvement. Uh, it only cost eight pound for them. Um, interestingly, when I took them out, uh, there was two different types. We had. I don't know if you can see because it's a bit dark, but we got that type, which is like a, the one where it just glows hot. And there were two LED lights in there previously, uh, these ones. But the ones I got look a bit more beefier. Uh, I think they're definitely brighter, the ones I put in. But yeah, maybe I'll see if I can find some higher wattage ones or I don't know, bigger bulbs, I don't know. Let me know if you know any brighter ones, because I'd like it to be a bit brighter if I can. But it's better than it was, so happy days. Right, in this video we are going to Western Supermare first thing this morning. From Western Supermare, because we, we're loaded, from Western Supermare we're going to be going straight down to Torrington in Devon. Royal Horticultural Hol Society, Rosemore Garden. I haven't even looked at that one yet. So that's where we're going today. Two deliveries, we are fully loaded with bolt bag. We got a flicker. We got a flicker. And one's gone out there. What? I've just paid for you! What's going on? Okay, I'm turning them off because I, I, I can smell I can smell burning. That's not good. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? I can actually smell burning. <laughs> What's gone on? Hey, are there 12 volt and 24 volt things you need to buy? Because they might be 12. Oh, well, looks like I'm putting the other ones back in. Oh, God. I've got to do it because if I don't, every time I open the door, the lights are going to turn on. So, be right back. And that right there is what happens. Oh, that one's not working now. When I try to do something mechanical. Why aren't you working? Oh, well, I ain't got time to mess about. Um, yeah, so these little bad boys, they were brighter, but they were also flickering and I could smell smoke and burning. Not good, I reckon. They've got to be, it's gotta be a 12 volt then these and maybe I need 24 up there. And that's the only, thing I can think of. 
God damn it. Right, anyway. Let's just, uh, yeah, we've got to get going. <laughs> oh. Let me know Do you feel me too? Let it show Okay, we are now in Western Supermare, just around the corner from where we need to be. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get straight in, fingers crossed. We'll be good if we could. We'll be good. Uh, so we want to take the first exit on this roundabout. Bow, 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 bow. Indicate the left. I was going to come up here last night. Um, and be on the gate sort of for first thing, but um, I went home. Uh, girlfriend wanted me to go home last night, so I did. That's what I did last night. It looks like there's uh, some parking around here. There's um, there's a road called the Runway or something next to this helicopter museum, and uh, it, it looks like potentially I could have parked up there somewhere. The helicopter museum. All good, all good, all good. First exit, we want to go down here. I'm oh, I'm not talking to you, Satnav. I'm not talking to you. Yeah, it looks like I could could have potentially parked down there. Uh, but my first port of call would have been to try and park on the gate itself. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look, they've got some helicopters out. That's pretty cool. I take. Can you sit in that one? No. <laughs> right, anyway, uh, we want to turn right here. We're going to see our CRS building supplies, which, which are right there. I wasn't sure whether they had a gate that locks up. Looking at it, it looks like they might have. So, um, if, I, if I did come here last night, it might have been all locked up. Yeah, prob probably would have been uh, locked up. And it says no overnight parking as well, so... There we go. Right, where do we go? What are you flashing me for? I'm going to assume I go round to the right, I think. I don't actually know. It's a bit of a guess. There is a truck in there already. But, um, yeah, looking on satellite view, it does look like you can go all the way around in one circle, potentially. I don't know. Okay, that's that says... Uh, okay, I've got... <laughs> that's the exit, so I've got to go in the other way. Okay. Good to know. Right, well, luckily there's space up here to spin around. The only reason I turned right then uh, was because the van flashed me, and so I thought I could uh, go around that way. It, it did look like you can go around in a circle, and uh, it was because the van flashed me that I assumed that was the way around, but obviously not. So let's turn around. Let's turn around. Look, we've got some helicopters there, look. turn round we're gonna go back in again and turn right this time bloody van drivers but yeah it looks like we're going the other way and then come out here and then HDV exit this way look you see I've never been here before so I don't know uh, which way to go in
Ooh, that's now going to be a bit tight. Bloody typical that there's now like a little truck in front of me. <laughs> Morning, mate. You're going to be able to get you in for a minute, babe. That's all right. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Um, so, if you just want to back up a little bit and then park just. Park on the left. Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. alright, mate. I'll start unstrapping and then just call me in when you're ready, like. Yes, yeah, alright, mate. No worries. Right, behind me. That'll do. Cars can still get past me, just wave them around. Yeah, so I'm here now, so I'm gonna get the uh, the straps off and um, then we'll be ready to go. See you in a bit. Right, pallets are coming off and the bags. I don't think I've shown you, I definitely haven't shown you yet. So yeah, we've got double stack bolt bags all on the back and then pallets up to the our snare drop and then the remaining bit is for the next delivery in Devon. We are there coming off now. The better, then we can make our way to Devon. Okay, we are tipped. Let's just move you up there like that. <laughs> we're tipped. Um, yeah, we had to wait a little bit before we got let in, but once we were let in, uh, we had two forklifters on us, so that's good. Yeah. Happy days. Right, engine on. We got a two hour, 12 minute journey now down to Toddington in Devon. Now, my sat-nav originally was gonna take me all the way down the M5 to Exeter, and then along the, what road is that? It doesn't actually say what road it is. The A30, and then up. But I think it's quicker to go to, Tiving, uh, to M5 to Tiverton, A361, past, past Tiverton, all the way to Barnstable, and then down. I think it's a little bit quicker. So that's the way we're going. ETA there is 20 past 11, so let's get cracky lacking because <laughs> if we don't hurry up, we might not get back in time to be reloaded. Should be alright. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a good three hour drive up to Ravenmouth. A good three hours, so, and I'm going to assume they stop loading at four o'clock. So we need to be leaving this place I'm delivering to by one o'clock. We're going to be there at 20 past 11, so... Um, yeah, uh, hopefully we're not in there for more than an hour. Uh, because we need to get a break in as well. So that's, that's, that's something else we need to think about. <laughs> but we'll get down there first and then we'll uh, probably get a break down there. Looks like a quite a nice big area-ish. They've got lots of car parking space. Whether I can park in that car park or not, I don't know. But uh, we've got plenty of drive time, plenty of work time. Um, so we, we'll go get it delivered anyway, and then uh, we look about getting a break in over once we're tipped or, uh, or somewhere on the way back. That's what we're going to do. Helicopter museum, look. I might, uh, maybe on a nicer day, maybe visit. I don't know. Who knows? Right, let's go. I'll see you when we're a little bit closer, probably in a couple of hours or so. See you in a bit. Right. <laughs> We're um, woo, we've had we've had some we've had some tight roads coming down here. We're on the B B three two three two. It's um it's a lot better than what it was back there. I don't I don't think I'm going to come back this way. Put it that way. I might go back the other way. Thing is, I I, th I think I said earlier I come this way because it was like fifteen minutes quicker and six miles shorter. But um yeah no if I met another <laughs> if I met another Arctic back there we could have had some problems. Anyway. Great Torrington, here we are. Uh, we are still a couple of miles away, but um, looks like we've got to negotiate the town. And then um, 
make our way across to Z Garden Centre. I have phoned them and uh, they've said come on into the gate, the main entrance, bear around to the left and then bear around to the right. There's a gate, get out, press a button or something and then they'll let me in. So I've seen it on um, on Google Map before I left and that's where I, est that's where I estimated it was going to be. But uh, there were some cars parked in there so hopefully they're out of the way. I'm assuming there were staff cars, I don't know. I don't know. Let me out. You're welcome. Ugh. Change gear, change gear. We've only got 11 pallets you're going to keep coming, aren't you? You've left it a bit tight. I could have got into the left then, but the back end of the trailer would have still have been poking out. You've left that a little bit tight though, mate. Ooh -wee. Would have been nice if you stopped a little bit earlier, but uh, thank you nonetheless. Right, we need to turn left at this roundabout. By the way, there's been zero weight limits or unsuitable for HGVs or anything along those lines. Every road we've taken to get here has been totally, uh, totally legal and fine to, to use. I need to take a wide swing round here. go. Lovely doubly. You're going to keep coming, aren't you? Let me out, thank you very much. It's a bit windy now. Right, nearly there. <laughs> Nearly there. I, I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping that that was the worst of it. That's very nice. Right, we want to go left here. Towards Exeter. There we go, RHS Garden, Rosemore. That's where we're going. Road, which is good. We want to go right into here. Make sure there's no one coming out. Oh, there's a little golf buggy there. There we go. So, when I spoke on the phone, she said, bear around to the left. Hopefully this sign says goods in. Uh, no, it doesn't. So there are no signs saying goods in. That's nice of them. But she said, bear left and then bear right. which I think is where it says no entry around here I think I, I hope <laughs> oh that's looking tight oh this is looking very tight yeah because it says staff car park I think I can get out, but I might be in the wrong place. Let's have a look. Hello, mate. Am I in the right place? Not really, because I'm asking you, right? That's right. Do you want to move? 
Right. He said, oh, I said, am I in the right place? He said, not really. <laughs> but he said, we'll do what moved. And I said, we should be all right. So let's see. <laughs> I don't think we're actually in gear. There we go. We'll just roll it forward then. Okay, the trailer was just on the curb there. There we go, we can swing around to the right now. It's a little bit tight, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can get out. <laughs> That's where she told me on the uh, on the phone, bare left, bare right, and uh, like I said, it looked like a, a, a staff car park, and it does say staff car park. In reverse. So, uh, yeah, let's get these pallets off and then uh, we can carry on with the day, go get loaded. We've only got 11 to come off here, it's not too bad. Ah, it's only a small fault lift, that's good. Uh... Alright mate. I'm just going to shift over a little bit, it's a bit tight that side. Yeah, you can go out the main car park, maybe. If you want me to. Yeah. I'll follow you there. Yeah, just yeah. follow me. Yeah, alright mate. Yeah. Why? You won't get that, you won't do the corner. It's alright, I'll do it here. Alright mate, no worries. I'm just going to budge over. There we go. Right, let's get these off. Whew. See you in a bit. Ah. Right, we're tipped. We are tipped, <laughs> but he's gone off. Forklifter has gone off and he's got the paperwork. I think one of the pallets I had come off uh, was for someone else or something. So, uh, yeah, they've uh, he's taken it over to her or something. I don't know. Anyway. We've got to wait for our paper. How long have we been here for now? 19 minutes. So it hasn't taken long. There he is. He's coming. All right, we want to go to Avon Mouth. We've got to get a 30 minute break on the way back. Uh, we had a 15 minute earlier while we were waiting to go into the first drop. How long does it take to get back? More importantly, what road have we taken back? Because I'm not going the same route. Yeah, that's taking me up the same route. Right, I've just found another route. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know whether it's better or not. This is the problem that we have to deal with sometimes. So the original route it was taking me. The original route was the purple route, right? Purple route adds 13 miles and adds 21 minutes. That's why I decided not to go the purple route, and why I went the let's call the cyan route, the blue route. So that's the that's the road I come at and uh, it was very tight sort of around this area very tight but the um, purple route okay maybe that's the pink route the extra route we're not going extra but the purple route could be an alternative because it's taking me on an A road up there hang on oh, I just messed it up now yeah so I think I'm going to take the purple route it's an extra six minutes but it is also two miles shorter so that's the route I'm going to take. Take the purple route. 
Right, so we've got the paperwork, we've got our route planned. Uh, it's going to take slightly longer, but it's less of a route. Looks like we come out of where we are. Yeah, we turn right, we go down the A road, and then take a left. Oh, that looks a little bit tight there. Nah, it should be right. We're going to risk it. <laughs> We're going to risk it. It doesn't look quite as tight as the other road we just took. I think. But hey, hey, we're in Devon. Let's just, let's take the risk. Let's take the risk. Right, lights on, into drive. Got to try and get out of here first. Cheers, mate. There we go. We're on the curb a little bit, but we should be good. Clear that way. Excellent. Out we go. Right, let's put the seatbelt on. Yeah, I think they normally tip in the main car park by the sounds of it. What one is the main car park? That's the question. I think it's down there because he said I couldn't make that corner. You know what, I think I could have. I think if I went that way, I could have made that corner there. Yeah, I see pallets down there now. Yeah, he's gone down there. Bless him. Never mind. Wow, I could have come out of here, turn right, reverse back, and come back in, or turn left, reverse back. I could have, uh, I could have gone in there if they wanted me to. But uh, never mind. Right, out we go. Ah, like I said, we got to, we got to stop for a break. Uh, we have got. 40, 45 minutes, yeah. We've got 45 minutes before we need to come to a stop. So um, we're gonna try and find somewhere to park. It's a two and a half hour drive to where we need to be. Gonna be there for about 20 past two before a break, 10 to three, maybe three o'clock, including the break. So that's the plan. So let's get crack a in. Hopefully these roads are a bit nicer. You are gonna see now via uh, time-lapse <laughs> if they were nice. I'll see you in a bit. So, just pulled over for our break. Uh, we're actually on 429. <laughs> so, we, we pulled over at the right time because we couldn't have gone much longer without going over our driving time. So, I'm going to watch some TV and uh, have some lunch, which consists of some cold beef ravioli. Now, don't get me wrong, I got a microwave, but there's nothing quite like having a cold.
Right, we need to get into the right hand side lane I think. Pretty sure we need to go over lane. Yeah, we do. We definitely do. Are we good on... You want to come over to this lane? Are you going to go behind me or front? Yeah, you'll go behind. Excellent! <laughs> right, so we're just around the corner now from Avonmouth Docks, which is where we're going. Uh, and we're going to now go get loaded with, uh, I think, a full load of pallets. be 24 pallets. Um, from Westland. And uh, I think it's going to Watford on Monday, I'm not sure. It's not going today, that's for sure. We'll get loaded and then we're done for the day. So yes, that's what we're going to do now. Turn green. Turn green. Turn green. Yeah. Could take this nice and wide around here, look. Get the trailer around that. There we go. I do hope you're going to reverse back, mate, because uh, I'm going to get get around you when you're there. Have I got enough room? Yeah, loads of room. Loads of room. Lovely doubly. Yeah, the docks are massive, aren't they? It just goes on and on and on and on. Right, this is Westlands here. All these pallets on the left are Westlands. So we just need to go in and give our reference number and go get loaded with 24 of them. Right, let's um, go in, give our reference, and uh, we can go and get loaded. See you in a bit. So, I'm currently getting loaded. That is windy out there. The curtains are flying <laughs> all over the place. Um, yeah, that's windy. Dying down a bit now. They're a bit health and safety mad here. They won't let me strap up in this wide open area. Um, I have to strap up over there where there's less space with my curtain slapping around. But okay, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, uh, that's the wind. That's not me being loaded. That's, the, that's purely the wind. That's my thought lift just gone now. But that's just windy out there. Can you see the curtain? Yeah. Woo yeah, it's a bit windy. Like straps. You probably can't hear anything I'm saying. Straps are going everywhere. Uh, six more to do, three at the front, three at the back.
Bye! Oh my god! Apologies to any Christians in here. I've been told off before for saying oh my god. <laughs> um, oh, that's windy, man. Stay. Ugh. That is so unbelievably windy. Oh, take, it's taken ages, it's taken ages to strap up because you throw the straps over and the wind just blows over again on the other side. So you just spend forever strapping up. Oh man, uh, I just want to take a picture of my destination for Monday. Let's, let's get on out of here. See you later, alligator. Bit of a blind left, can't see anything. So I'm just gonna take it nice and slow and go on the wrong side of the road so I can see. There is a vehicle coming. Let me out. Thank you very much. Better say thanks. Right, here's the gate pass. Got my destination in it. Oh. Hey Siri, what time is sunset? Not gonna do it. Hey Siri, what time is sunset? Sunset will be at 17.33 today. 17.33. Uh, I only ask because I'd ideally like to be back in the yard before it's dark, but uh, we might struggle actually. We might struggle, we will see. Yeah, matey boy, the driver who was beside me, he was uh, he was not happy with the wind either. He was just, oh, it's manic. It don't, it doesn't appear that windy, but when you've got curtains and you're throwing straps, it really, really is quite windy. So yes. Yeah, right, we've got a red light here. Turn green, turn green. Turn green. Turn green. Why are you going? It's a red light. Oh yeah, you can go. Bloody cyclists. <laughs> Bloody cyclists. You can wait. What are you doing? I see you, mate. I see you. Just turn green. What? Why are the lights? Thank you. Thank you. Turn green. Bloody cyclists. I tell you what, credit where credit's due, that cyclist is going bloody fast. <laughs> I've struggled to keep up with him. I'll get him, I'll get him now going down here. He's pedalling nice and slow, look. Wait for it to go straight so I can actually see. Yeah, we're all good, we can overtake. Plenty of room. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it's been uh, been an alright week. Hopefully you've enjoyed the last two videos. Uh, these, This video and the one before where I got stopped by DVSA uh, were actually recorded within the, the same, well, the same week, but three days simultaneously. So the, yeah, the DVSA video was over two days and then this was the Friday, the last day. So for me, it's been an interesting week because I've been stopped by DVSA, which uh, I don't care what anyone says, it's nerve wracking being stopped by DVSA and um, luckily everything was alright but it's always in the back of your head you're like oh have I done everything right is everything okay is there something with the truck that's wrong that I haven't picked up but no it passed everything was good truck passed I passed uh, load passed it was all good so happy days as they say but uh, at least now I've been stopped let's go around here Okay, and then we're given this gate pass to say that I've uh, I'm loaded and what I'm loaded with and where I'm going and blah 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 blah. Special instructions, book in. I got a book in with Abdul.
Hello, mate. Thank you very much. Come on, keep going, keep going. The dash takes like bloody five seconds to decide. Yes, I will go. <laughs> ah, there we go. So, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. If not, then uh, then tough. Uh, big shout out to uh, all my uh, channel members. Thank you for uh, joining up to me. Do appreciate it. If you want to join up, click that join button uh, down below, and um, yeah, you get your like your name and videos and discounted on merchandise and you know stuff like that basically so yeah thank you very much uh until next time drive safe stay safe i will see you soon and uh yeah goodbye